what's up you guys good morning i'm gonna be doing a college week in my life for you guys it's tuesday morning and i just had class and i just got ready but first off i wanted to say thank you guys thank you for your feedback thank you for your positive comments for all the comments i really appreciate y'all's feedback and your willingness to allow me to grow i i i see you guys i hear you guys i'm here for you and I really suggest you guys listen to my podcast episode on Gals on the Go this last Wednesday. I really get more in depth on kind of what I did during my break, the actions I took and that I'm going to continue taking. More about my meetings with Hannah, who was the amazing gal that I talked about in my last video. As I said in my last video, I'm here to continue to learn and it's not something that happens overnight it's a journey and i really appreciate y'all's comments about allowing me to grow and like continue to do this and so i want to continue to make the content that you guys want to see so i'm here to do a college week in my life i saw a lot of the comments asking for me to get back to those and i feel ready to do it um and i'm really excited so it's a tuesday morning and it's 11 a.m. I had class on Zoom this morning at 9.30, so I like made breakfast and went to class, went to class. And now it's kind of like a cozy, rainy day here in Athens. Um, and I just kind of got dressed. Any excuse that I have to go on campus, I do because it just, you know, you gotta feel something a little bit. Um, so I don't have an in-person class there today, but I do have to pick up something for one of my classes at the bookstore on campus. So that's perfect so i'm gonna head to campus now and grab that from the bookstore and then also potentially meet up with ryan so that is the plan for now um this is my outfit i'm wearing these biker shorts they're really really comfortable and then i'm wearing this like thermal top from princess polly so that's what we're doing there i grab my backpack i have textiles testing lab later um this is my backpack that I've been using this semester. Got all kinds, of, actually I need to take this out. I don't need this right now, it's for my dress society class. And then my doing well daily. I don't need my journal right now. I literally bring my journal everywhere. Mask, grab some shoesies. Do these work today? Yeah, these work today. All right, final fit. <laughs> Ow, <laughs> clumsy. Bye Delaney. Bye. See you later. so impacted so I went I was waiting to meet up with Ryan at the Tate Starbucks and um, one of the guys there Derek I've literally known him since my freshman year here he's just always puts a smile on everyone's face like if you go to UGA you know Derek and he like I wasn't even in line for Starbucks and he just came over and he's like Danielle what's your order again and I was like iced coffee and he was like do you get cream sugar and I was like what and then he just went and got me an iced coffee like literally just gave it to me and it I know it sounds so crazy, but it's just like the littlest of things or like a way you can like positively impact someone's day and he apparently treated Ryan this morning. Best guy in Tate. Best guy in Tate. Like that's seriously the sweet. It's just like it makes me want to go and pay it forward somehow. So let this inspire you. But yeah, we're just sitting outside. Humidity got to my hair. Cheers. <laughs> back from campus now having some grapes as a snack and I didn't get to do this this morning but I'm going to kind of plan out what I want to get done today see what today's quote is you are not too old and it is not too late I love that so I am going to trace this write what I'm grateful for words to live by my knock it out list what I'm gonna do um, and yeah I'll just kind of plan out the rest of my day I want to get a lot of work done also, I've been listening to Jazz for Study on Spotify. I love it. I think Delaney showed me it. Also guys, update on The Good Deed. I was telling Delaney about what happened this morning and she was like, well, what are you gonna do? And I just heard, found out that today is National Coffee Day and it's my friend's birthday today and she loves Dunkin' Donuts coffee. So I thought I just Venmoed her and said, treat yourself to some coffee, also happy birthday because she's literally the Dunkin' Queen, so. Yeah, maybe I'll do something else later, but yeah, just update on that. It's now 2.20 
and I'm hopping on my textiles testing lab. Um, every like two weeks we can go in person if we want. So I'm online today. Um, I have four labs due on Friday. So I definitely need to tune in and make sure I know what I'm doing for these at-home labs. Oh, <laughs> it's just me right now. <laughs> Taking a little work break. I just had my textiles testing lab now. I'm eating some Trader Joe's chicken gyoza dumplings, I think they're called. They're so good. They're such a good like lunch situation. So yeah, just watching some TV. All right guys, it's a little bit later now. Delaney finally got her blue light glasses in the mail. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. <laughs> she needs them. She gets headaches a lot. They're very important. True. We're headed to bed. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. <laughs>just woke up and I did some journaling and planning for the day. My day is actually pretty much wide open. Um, I just have like a lot of homework I want to get done today, but I do have one plan and that is I'm going to walk over to North Campus at UGA and meet up for some coffee and like a little picnic outside with um, my friends Daly and Cade. Uh, Daly is one of my hallmates freshman year. You guys probably definitely know her. And yeah, we just wanted to all catch up. So we're just going to grab some coffee at the Starbucks in downtown and then just like sit outside and it's just such a beautiful day. So I'm really excited about that. Here's my little outfit. Um, athleisure's pretty much just been my thing lately. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's go. All right, we're out on North Campus. Here's Caden Daly. Good vibes. Daily got took filet. Of course. Of course. <laughs> good, good stuff. I'm back now. We talked forever and just sat outside. It's such a beautiful day. Um, I just came back and I heated up some Trader Joe's chicken fried rice. This stuff's delicious. I just recently discovered it. Very easy lunch. Um, got a lot of homework I want to get done, so I'm going to get to it. I've moved to my bed. <laughs> it really is such a beautiful day outside. I feel like I need to get back outside. But yeah, I'm still doing homework. <laughs> but yeah, this is the setup right now. I'm sorry, I feel like this vlog's really boring, but nothing crazy happening right now. <laughs> okay, so you guys are on my textbook. So we have this routine. Delaney doesn't like ginger shots, and I don't like apple cider vinegar shots. I hate ginger. It's so... Yeah, it's a lot. Um, and then, so she's gonna take one of those. I'm gonna pour mine in the cup. Um, and I'm gonna take one of these because we need a little midday Rejuvenation. Actually, it's like four o'clock now, but I have more homework to do. Let's take a quiz. This has apple cider. Nope, that's hers. Mine has ginger, lemon, and cayenne pepper. Ready? Right. I gotta take it quick because it's like so close to the top. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. All right, just finished my retailing quiz and got something done for my dress society class. So I feel really good on that front. I like getting ahead on Wednesdays. I feel like that's like a good time. Um, I decided I'm gonna go to spin because I really have nothing going on tonight. So I might as well get a workout in. So I'm actually wearing this little, well, it's not a set, but I'm wearing some Gymshark stuff. These biker shorts I've been living in, they're so comfortable. And then the sports bra and then my TMs. And yeah, I'm gonna pop on a jacket. And we're gonna head over and get a good sweat sesh. I'm dead. Whew. Just got back from Spain. I'm very sweaty. It was a fun class. Um, taking off my shoes. I'm gonna shower. And then Delaney and I are cooking a V yummy dinner tonight. So I'm very excited. I love our nights where we cook together. It's just like a fun little, fun little bonding thing we got going on. So I just got out of the shower, but I forgot to show you guys. When I was at Trader Joe's the other day, I got some fresh eucalyptus because I recently have been seeing a lot of people putting the, putting it in their shower and wow does it make a difference. I'm such a big eucalyptus person. I love eucalyptus essential oil and basically when you first get it, you just take like a rolling pin or something and rub it so it kind of releases the scent and then you just hang it up in your shower and with the hot steam, it smells amazing. It's like a spa. So highly suggest it and it's just like a nice little 
garnish there in your shower, but yeah. As for skincare at night, I have been starting off with this Drunk Elephant Glycolic Serum and then I use the Skin Fix Barrier Plus um, Lipid Peptide Cream because Hiram recommended it and I trust him with my life. And I actually got this face wash because of him as well because I watched his video on Maskne because Maskne is real for me right now. <laughs> and he suggested using that face wash, like a simple one, and then this moisturizer because he was talking about how, you know, breakouts are when your skin breaks and if it's dry, that's what happens. And I was like, wow, that's so true. So yeah, it's my little nighttime skincare routine if you guys are curious. All right, so we're doing peppers, onions, steak tips, and green beans. This smells so good. Got lots of veggies. Steak is almost ready. Yum. Okay, this is like the best meals we've done in a while, I feel like. Well, it's a new one for us. It's a new one. It's a new one. Yay. Morning, you guys. Starting the day off with a Gals on the Go meeting call. Brooke's just adding in Emma. Yeah. Is everybody here? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hi, guys. Happy Thursday. Hey guys, so I just got off the call about Gals on the Go. We're just planning our episode for next week and just like other things. Um, I have kind of a busy day today. And I haven't had a busy day in a while, I feel like. I'll, obviously, I'm so thankful for the stress. I'm about to have a Zoom class right now. It's my dress society class. And then after that, I'm going to change really quick since all my pajamas and head over to this awesome place called Cafe on Lumpkin. They have these outdoor beautiful tables. Um, they have really good coffee and food. And my friend and I are going to meet up because we have so much homework to do. And we're both in the same class, so... That'll be very helpful. And I'll probably be there until I literally get all that done. And then I have therapy at four. And then I have spin at 5.30. So yeah, that's kind of the vibe for today. I made my list of like everything that I need to get done. It's a lot, but I can also do some of it tomorrow because tomorrow I'm recording with Brooke, which I'm really excited about. I've also spin tomorrow. Um, and yeah, let's go to class. And why is the behavior called deviant? All right, so just got off of class actually, and today's class was really powerful. I wanted to share a little bit about it with you guys because I, like I said, I wanna do more of that. And this is my dress society and culture class and we read articles, papers, you know, things from our textbook every week. And then we talk about them on Zoom, which is really, really interesting. We get put into breakout rooms. Um, we talked about, we started talking about today about um, drag queens actually, so that was really interesting. And then we got into the paper that Peggy McIntosh wrote, I don't want to say that wrong, but um, about white privilege. And I've seen this before and it was really interesting. We like kind of went, so the one that she had us read is a list of 46 things that she basically came up with, just like different things about white privilege. And a lot of these, like I've already kind of, I don't know, kind of thought about and just had conversations about, but some of them, it's still just like so crazy how much as a white, you know, woman in society, there's so much privilege. So yeah, we just kind of popcorned and talked about different ones that really stood out to us. So it was really, really interesting. Like for one that I haven't thought about personally, I'm never asked to speak for all of the people of my racial group, you know, like I'm never asked to speak for all the white women of the world because everyone has their own opinions. Like, you know, same with like a black woman she shouldn't just be asked to like represent her whole community because everyone has their own opinions on different things so it was just really interesting it was really cool to talk about with my class and i think we like had that conversation because i genuinely don't think like a year ago today this class we would have maybe had that deep of a conversation it's just like kind of how everything's evolving so that was really cool um i just genuinely wanted to share that with you guys because that's what we were just talking about it's fresh on my mind but um yeah, so it's 12.30. I am going to change because I am still in my pajamas and I'm gonna get dressed and it's so nice out and I'm gonna head to Cafe on Lumpkin 
and it's this new place in Athens and it's really really cool and they have good coffee and food I think I'm gonna get lunch there and just sit outside and get that work done so also just because I'm going nuts sitting here at my desk all right packing up my backpack I've got my textiles testing lab kit we have fabric scissors ruler a couple of things planner obviously my textbook and then a notebook because I have to do a ton of labs all right about to head out here's the fit Woo. guys um i am so hot i raced back from the cafe to get on to therapy and i'm so excited to talk to her Alrighty, so i just got off therapy and it always just feels so so good to talk to her and yeah that was really good um i just canceled my spin class and literally my workout outfit but i simply just have too much homework to do and i would rather focus on that because I don't know, like, working out does make me feel less stressed, but at the same time, like, if I know I could be spending that, you know, hour and a half it takes me, like, back and forth and getting there early, whatever, then, you know, I could use that towards, like, doing my homework. I would just rather because, I don't know, I always like to just get my stuff done. And if I'm, like, in the mindset, I'm just kind of, like, in this mindset. Again, I know that this week is kind of lame, but this is this is real life <laughs> also while i have you guys i wanted to shout out sierrabray.com um it's going to be the business that we highlight in our new segment on gals on the go podcast this coming wednesday called business of the week and in specific we're going to be highlighting black indigenous and people of color um in their companies and so i found this one and it her website is so cute first of all so she makes masks but not only does she make masks you guys she makes these super cute bohemian masks with like this fringe i don't know if you guys can see here yeah so i'm about to purchase a couple because i'm always you know down for some new masks and these are super cute and i want to support i think i'm gonna get this one it looks like it's like a denim material super cute i'm also going to get this one because it's so cute today's um amazon delivery <laughs> um i bought some more white socks because i don't know where they go but i always use my socks and then i've been loving these i've been loving these these are mighty patches um, and they're these little stickers you put on your blemishes and they just help me like not touch my pimples because I don't, you know, it's not good to touch them and put the bacteria on them. So they're just really, really helpful. And basically you wear them until the surface turns white. Um, and then you peel them off. I really don't know the science behind it, but it works. And I like will literally keep them on like a full day since I'm like literally at home all day. I'll just wear it while I'm doing my homework and then... Like, right before dinner, I'll take them off and, like, wash my face, and it's so exciting. It's kind of gross. So, I'm about to make Delaney and I some dinner. She's out. She's going to be back. We have been obsessed with this Trader Joe's finished tortellini. It's so good, and it's literally so easy to make. You just boil water, and then um, you pop it in, and it just cooks for literally two to three minutes. It's pretty awesome, and then... We love this vodka sauce from Trader Joe's as well. Big Trader Joe's people, if you can't tell. So this is gonna be our dinner tonight. The sun is coming in so beautifully right now. I just showered because I was feeling kind of blah and I got a lot of work done. Today is just a getting things done day. I think I'm also gonna do my laundry tonight because it seems like the night to do it. <laughs> I always put my laundry basket right here, so I remember that I'm doing laundry, so I put it in the dryer after. All right, ravioli's done. Ravioli, tortellini. And a little seasoning there. Voila, fine dining. Oh my gosh, I am so happy. I can't even wait for Delaney, I'm that hungry. <laughs> I'm no longer eating alone. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. <laughs> I'm caffeinated and I'm stressed. <laughs> um, if you guys listen to the podcast, I think I just did my first Canva presentation. After I talked about it in the podcast, a lot of you guys DM me and were like, Danielle, it's really not that hard. Like, just do it. So thanks for the push. And I did it. And I did my first 
um, a little Canva presentation on icon toppling for my trend forecasting class. So I woke up early this morning, so I get a ton of stuff done. So that's done. Gotta love crossing something. Uh, oh, okay. Woke up at 8 a.m. this morning, grinded for two hours, got all of my stuff done for the weekend. So I'm really, really happy about that. Um, I just made some scrambled eggs really quick. I've been running around um, because right now I'm about to record with Brooke. I'm about to FaceTime her. We haven't recorded together on the podcast in obviously so long, and I'm so looking forward to being back on Gals in the Go. And I just, again, can't thank her enough for, you know, taking over the podcast while I was gone. So excited to reunite with her. You guys know it's always just a good time when it's Brooke and I. Um, so I'm going to call her. Eat these eggs. All right. I'm on FaceTime with Brooke. I'm about to record. Okay. Oh, my God. We haven't clapped in so long. All right. Oh, wait. Who's starting? Do you want to start? Hey, guys. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Hi. Hey, Frog. What's up? <laughs> My cheeks hurt from smiling. <laughs> Woo, recording just finished. It was so much fun. We literally talked for an hour and 20 minutes. It was so much fun to just, like, be back at it with Brooke. Like, we were both just sitting there like, wow, I miss this so much. Just, like, bouncing off each other. What is on my lens? Anyways, it's, like, an hour and a half later. I'm eating half of this complete cookie. I love these so much. I'm in my workout outfit because Delaney and I are about to head to a spin class. I'm really excited because I didn't go yesterday because I was really overwhelmed. But now I feel better because I got all my ish done so I can just enjoy the workout. So, looking forward to that. Alright you guys, what is I just showered, spin was really good, that was really nice, just to like end the week off working out. Um, I just showered and I've got my Florida homesick candle burning. I'm heating up some of the leftover tortellini for dinner. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I had so much fun vlogging. I feel like I'm still like getting used to it again. I kind of feel like sometimes I was like, oh right, vlog, right, yeah, like duh Danielle um but yeah I love you guys thank you so much for watching subscribe if you are new here and I'll see you guys very soon for our next video bye bye